hello everyone today i would like to show you how you can control leds using a remote control and an ir receiver is the simple setup these are the leds we are going to be using three of them and this is our ir receiver you can look at it a bit more in detail it has three terminals yeah like that so one of these terminals is going to be connected to one of the digital pins of the Arduino board the middle terminal is going to be connected to the ground and the, this other terminal is going to be connected to the VCC so that is our IR receiver then you are going to be using a simple remote control to control the blinking of the leds yeah this is a remote control but you can use any remote i'll be showing you how we configure the remote control using the arduino software so we can have a look at it in more clear form in the diagram this is the setup diagram form this is our IR receiver the first pin is going to go to pin 11 of the board the middle pin goes to the ground and the other pin goes to the VCC then we have our three LEDs one is connected to pin 2 another one to pin 4 and another one to pin 7 and as always these pins have to have Ohm resistors of 220 ohms which are grounded so this is the simple setup before you begin the actual use of the remote you need to first configure each of these buttons so that when you are using the buttons in a software we know the value of each of these buttons so that is going to be done by running a simple code in our Arduino software which can help us to identify the value of each of these buttons and that is done by first wiring the IR receiver alone in this case we have wired it to the pin 11 of the Arduino board and then we are going to run the code and then we identify the values of each of these buttons here So this is the code. We have noted that uh, the sensor pins are attached to the Arduino board as one with the first pin is on pin 11 of the board. The second one is the ground and the third one is the VCC. And this is the simple code for decoding or for showing the values of the buttons on the serial monitor. So we have to first run this code, then it's going to show you the values of the buttons of the remote. And I will show you how that is done. So this code here, we end up to start the receiver and then print the given value on the serial monitor and then continue like that. Let me give an example. So now we begin looking for the values of each of the buttons using the code which is uploaded to the Arduino board. So we shall be pressing each button and looking for its value on the serial monitor. For example, I can begin with one. When I press one, you observe this short value here: one six seven two four one seven five. That's the value of one so you note it down you press the second button this is the value one six seven one eight zero five five when you press three you get this so these are the button numbers for example four like that press five 
you can see the number six like that seven eight nine like that you can press all the buttons you see the numbers you neglect these long numbers and very short ones i'm gonna take these ones these numbers one two three four five six seven eight these eight values you are taking at those this small values there so you can use any remote if you have like um a remote maybe for your air condition or something you can use it so to give you different values for all the buttons but now in this case i'm using this remote because the one which i use in my arduino projects so from there after getting these values you can be able to add the actual code for the project we are doing using these values this is the code we're going to be using the irremote.h library because we're going to be using the remote control and this is where our pins and leds are connected the sensor pin then 11 then you have three LEDs, one on pin two, and one on four, and one on seven. Then this array is representing the states of the LEDs. What you must make note that uh, we have three LEDs, but in our array we are going to declare four values, and then I've made the note here. Because initially they are all off, that's why we're using 0, 0, 0. But you can change some of them to 1s if you want some of them to be on when you start the, the running of the code. Then, um, remember in the last part we showed you how we are going to get the values of each of the buttons of the remote. So in this case we are going to be using the remote num uh, button 1, 2 and 3. And these are the corresponding the small values for those buttons which you got as illustrated before then uh, these are codes for receiving and recording the values of the IR receiver then we have the serial function for the serial monitor but this one you can omit it if you're not going to be using the serial monitor then this function is for starting the receiver you are declaring the mode of the pins for the leds as output then um talk something small about the code that is we are using the switch case for those who are not very familiar then uh, you can look for the c language or the java language this is where it comes from so if the first LED is on, then you turn it off and then set its state as off. Else, if the LED, that means it's, it's off, then when you press the button, it's going to be on and then its state is going to be on. So this is the switch case. Code 1 represents you are pressing the first button. Code 2 represents you are pressing the second button, and code 3 represents you are pressing the third button. Then, uh, the value can be printed on the serial monitor, but uh, if you are not going to be interested in the serial monitor, you can omit this, then you receive the next value. So, this is our simple code. I am going to upload it to the board and see what happens when the code is run on the board. We have now uploaded the code into the board. I want to test using our remote control. We're going to be using the buttons for one, two, and three for lighting the LEDs. So it's what happens when you press when you press the first button, the first LED lights. You press the second one, the second one lights, the third, the third LED goes on. If you press again, goes off, off off so first 
second third like that hope you enjoyed the project thanks for watching